cocooners, Lori here in the Michigan cocoon. If you're new to this channel, my name is Lori and Hello from the Cocoon is created by myself and my dear friend Sarah. And we are merging our Connecticut cocoon and our Michigan cocoon together to bring you seasonal activities through crafts, creativity, our voice, empowerment, introspection, and just cozy content from our cocoons to yours. And today I thought I would share something that's dear to my heart, which is the art of weaving. And when I was in college, I took a class that was, it was actually a paper making class, and we learned how to weave with reeds. And ever since then, my fingers have been itching to get back to this type of craft. And so when I was in North Carolina with my husband this past June, we found a traditional craft kit at the Folk Art Center in the Blue Ridge Parkway area. And this is a wicker basket kit. It's the honeysuckle style. You can see that. Oh, there it is. You can learn a traditional skill that can lead to hours of enjoyment and mindful relaxation. Yes. And it says that you can complete this in two plus hours. So I'm really curious to see how long this is going to take. It's not going to be a very big basket. The wicker basket says it's about three and a half um, inches tall by four inches wide. You can get yourself this kit if you'd like to join along with me or if you just enjoy watching um, a crafty cozy video then come on in and get cozy. I am going to put this to music. We're going to have fun. We're just going to enjoy the craft together and I also feel like it's a really beautiful way to welcome in the month of September where we're going into the fall season here in the northern hemisphere and it's also a time of release and starting to go inward into our cocoons um, this process of shedding and letting go and admiring the the beauty of the cycles of nature uh, this might be a wonderful time to actually gather these types of supplies in the wild. Um, I'm not someone who forages very easily. I, I just don't do that, but I love to, to learn crafts like this from kits and then learn how to create them more on my own. So this is just a, a gateway activity to more. So come on in, get cozy, and let's get crafting. Okay, let's open this kit together. All right. I have no idea what to expect. I'm nervous. <laughs> oh gosh. So beautiful. So many, oh my goodness. There are more kits available, so you can get a kit at traditionalcraftkits.com. These are all made in the USA, family owned and operated. So this is beautiful. So if this is something that is exciting to your crafty heart, then I, I recommend checking that out. And then we have this little booklet as well. It looks like this is going to be our instructions. This is going to, ooh, this is great. It's going to give you a history here about wicker, wicker weaving. So I have my kit materials here. I'm gonna need scissors and a ruler, which I can go get. Ooh, a large stainless steel pot or a glass bowl measuring spoons, a stirring spoon in a plastic bag and newspaper or paper towels. Oh my goodness. So here's my spokes for the basket. And these are the fiber rush for the weaving part. Um, and then it comes with 
a clothespin. I'm guessing that's going to help when I'm in the midst of my weaving. And then it looks like this is going to be the powder for painting. Very excited. I'll probably be showing you lots of this process. Um, I'm not gonna take you through step by step because I just don't want this video to be super long. I want it to be a fun video for all of us. And um, I'm just gonna really enjoy feeling the ageless, timeless experience of using my hands with um, the act of weaving. There's something very ancestral for me and primal that I always feel really grounded when I weave or use my hands with any type of craft in this way. Um, I also feel that way when I am mixing um, ingredients in a bowl or using my hands to knead things. So I'd love to know if anybody else has those experiences uh, like I do, you know, do, where do you feel the most in your element and what sorts of activities make you feel connected to that like timelessness, this like essence of being a creature on this planet? <laughs> Is it when you're barefoot in the garden? Is it when you're digging in the soil? Is it when you're swimming in the ocean? I'm, I'm so curious. <laughs> so, um, all right. Let's go. I'll see you soon. Bye.
great reveal of my wicker basket. So here's the honeysuckle and here's what I made. <laughs> Almost the same shape. I kind of like mine better. My cat is moving behind me. Yeah, I kind of like the shape of mine better than this one. Um, it's more like curvy. So yeah. Here's how it came out. I'm trying to get it in focus for you. As you can see, I had to dye some of the rush fiber um, with that black powder. I'm actually gonna change the, uh, the video here. All right, let's see if we can see it better like this. There you go. Yeah, much better. So here is the shape that I came up with. I think I got to about four inches wide and then I went into three and then I made a little bit of a neck at the top. It sort of felt like pottery. I've never actually done a pottery wheel, but at one point I felt like I was able to really like shape um, shape the curvature and I don't know, I just had that feeling like I was weaving pottery. <laughs> so, um, oh, I wish I had a pottery wheel that was easy for me to use. This was a, a beautiful craft, very easy. It was very, mm, I wouldn't say it was low stress. There were um, moments where I got stressed out because this black um, ended up being very dusty afterwards, kind of like a charcoal. Um, in fact, I am still seeing little remnants of the black, so I had to use gloves while I was doing this. Um, I would prefer not to have to do that. I want to touch things with my hands. So I think if I were to get another kit, I would get all natural fiber. I didn't know I had to dye. Um, the the fiber in this kit so if I had known I probably wouldn't have got this one but I really like the shape and the closure at the top was actually the hardest part um, but it really didn't come out that bad it looks pretty nice at the top and um, I'm happy with it I'm pretty happy with this this was a fun craft and I hope you enjoyed this craft vlog. If you are interested in doing a basket weaving kit, I highly suggest that you find a kit online. And if you want to do the same kit that I used, then you can find it at traditional craft kits. Oh my goodness. Yeah, because they have so many, they have so many different kinds of kits. This coiled basket kit for beginners is two to three inches. You can see that up at the top. I think this is a great way to just get your fingers moving and you can feel that sense of accomplishment in one to two days. I think this would be an easy project for one day. Um, it only took me a few hours and I really love that I got to do this today. So thank you for joining me for this adventure.